I run a channel on YouTube that specializes in super slow motion footage. And I've actually shot something for you so we can watch it together if you've got the clip ready. So this is footage I shot. It's at 1,000 frames a second, which is roughly 40 times slower than how it appeared in real time. And I just counted from 1 to 4. Those are the numbers you can see at the bottom of the screen. And I was blown away at the amount of particles that came out of my mouth. Not only from the spit, sort of at the beginning of each word, but after I'm done with the word, particularly the word for, you can see like a fine mist come out of my mouth. And that was actually really surprising that I could see that with, with the naked eye. The particles that are so light that they don't fall. And I wasn't even shouting that loud. That was like a medium volume of talking there. Yeah, I think what you've just shown is a, is a, um, you know, graphically uh, <laughs> beautiful uh, demonstration of the importance of wearing masks and face coverings. Because as the, as the film shows now, you're saying the same thing. One, two, three, four. Right. And very little is coming out from the mask. So, you know, we say, and, 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 and I think graphic demonstrations like you've just shown now really solidify that. One of the reasons why it's so important to wear a face covering is that we know now that about 40 to 45 percent of the people who are infected don't have any symptoms. Okay, and that number is probably going up with Delta variant because a lot of times Delta variant folks aren't showing up with symptoms at all. That was before Delta variant became the predominant variant that was out there. I show that video to almost every, well, every school that I go to and almost every group that I go in and educate their, their business, whether it be, uh, you know, the Hershey's that I'm dealing with, they have about four shifts. I do, I do this with every shift to show them what happens when we're not wearing face coverings from just talking. Everybody talks about sneezing and coughing and all those things. No, just from talking, we're still putting all these particulates out and it really helps drive home the point that we need face coverings. But it also helps me lead into the discussion about now that we have a variant, it was bad enough when we had the wild virus, but now that we have a Delta variant that puts out 1200 times more than the original variant, uh, than the original wild virus puts out into the air as far as the amount of viruses going out there, the viral load that we have even in the body, this is not the time to take off masks. I'm not political at all. <laughs> I just want you to understand that. I am about public health and safety and helping people. So if you feel like this is going to be political, don't. I'm just telling you, put a mask on, okay? Put a mask on and let's get vaccinated. Why do we want to get vaccinated? It's everything that you just heard all of these doctors and, and learned individuals give you information on. Coronavirus is ravaging our community. When we talk about the, the United States, Tennessee and Shelby County, we are all under attack, but we're under particular attack in this area. We have very few hospital beds left. We have a case positivity rate over 20, 21% now. It was 20% a day or two ago. Now we're over 21%. Uh, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere because we are not vaccinated. We are not wearing masks. We're not doing the things necessary to keep us safe. I'm going to give you all some information and uh, Dr. Randolph particularly, uh, I want you to listen because I'm out here in the streets every day. I'm in the schools, I'm on the corners, I'm at the churches, I am in the community events where they have a block event and they're just giving away food. I'm there giving vaccination and testing every single day. And what we learn on the ground is different than what you see a lot of times from these charts. Matter of fact, all the time is different. Today even, one particular thing I want you all to hear and understand, please hear my heart. These kids are smarter than all of us, okay? They are right now, have, they right now have a pact, a COVID pact at one of the affluent schools here in Memphis where they're saying we're going to give each other COVID so we can go back home and have virtual learning. 
This is not hearsay. This is happening. I had even before I could even check it myself, I had a parent call me from that school and tell me my son was one of them that, were, that was actually doing this, taking his mask off and he was going to you know, drink out the same cup as everybody else so they can go back to virtual. And she said, what is going on? So we have some things that are happening that are not caught by numbers. We have to deal with the reality of what is going on in our schools and our communities. And I'm starting with the kids because our kids are our jewels. If we don't care enough about ourselves to do anything, we usually care enough about our kids to do the best things. And our kids are our jewels. They're the arrows that God gives us to launch into the future and be all that they can be and help our world be better. Well, our kids are under attack. If we don't want to pick up and fight for our kids, and I don't really know what else we can do. But right now, our kids are going through an attack in these schools that is beyond belief. We have parents, again, I'm in the schools vaccinated. I have about nine schools I go to and educate and vaccinate on a weekly basis. They have me come on a weekly basis. We have kids right now coming to school where parents have not waited to see what their coronavirus testing results were. We have parents showing up who don't know what their testing results are, but they showed up to school and dropped their child off anyway. They walked their child all the way during orientation week for the elementary, walked them all the way to the teacher's classroom anyway. Then they find out that, oh, I am positive. Oh, little Timmy is positive. And now you're coming back to pick him up. Or now you're calling and telling the teacher, well, I was in your class today and I found out that I did have coronavirus. These are the types of things that are happening on a consistent basis. Am I telling you this to shock and scare you? You better believe I am. I really want you to understand what is going on. It is not what you see on TV. This is the ground game. We had the point in time where we could have just done the pop-ups and the large venues where we got people coming in and they drive through and get vaccinated. That's just like we're selling anything. You have your early adopters. Now we're in the part of the game where you have to get out here, you have to educate, you have to drive home the points and talk to people one-on-one -on -one to get them to understand this is why it's important to wear a mask. This is why it's important to get vaccinated. This is what we can accomplish if we do that. If we're not having those types of conversations in each of our own social circles and cultural circles, then we're not going to get what we need to have happen with this pandemic. It's going to be 2024 and we're still talking about this. We're already into 2022. We might as well cancel 2021. 2022 is where we're going to have some hope because right now, 2021, we're wrapping it up, still infected at a high rate. So we need to make sure that we're having these conversations. Um, I can give you story after story. It broke my heart on Monday to have one of my patients come in. His wife already was pregnant and, and he's 28 years old. And uh, she caught coronavirus because she didn't listen to her AB, uh, OBGYN and ACOG telling her to go ahead and get vaccinated. It's okay in your first, second or third trimester. But no, she didn't listen and she got coronavirus coronavirus, now she can't walk across the room. He's taking care of her for weeks. He said, I, I think I should come in and get tested. Yes, go ahead and come in and get tested. We tested him. He's positive now. That means now he can't go to work. That means that she's now at the, in, the, in the ninth month, she's entering the ninth month, which you know for African-Americans, we tend to have a lot of preemies. So if she has that baby this week, he can't touch the baby. She can't touch the baby. They have to watch the baby on the iPad. That's, that's not what we want. That's not what we should want for any of our families and children that are out here, but these are the real things that are happening that we're not discussing. We have to talk about these things so that people will understand when we have the opportunity. I thank uh, Dr. Young and uh, Pastor Young, Bishop Young, Dr. Young for being out here and being a voice to help get some of these stories out and, the, and all of this information that was uh, here today is great. But as we continue to do this, I really, really just am asking each of you that are listening today and then especially the panelists, as you are talking to folks, please tell them some of the real things that are happening out there as you come across them. I come across them every day. And if you all had time, I could tell you some things that you probably start pulling your hair out and not believing. But yes, there are some things that happen every day, like these kids today with this COVID pact. I mean, how many more schools are we going to see that with? You know, this, this all got spreaded on TikTok. You know, with them doing that on TikTok and they showed up to school yesterday and today saying that this is what we're going to do. 
It's time for us to be very, very poignant and real about how we're going to address this. I'm going to leave time so everybody gets questions and everything, but I want to drive home that point because where we are now is about our kids and they're the fastest growing group getting it and they're going to be the fastest spreaders of it because you really don't see a lot of symptoms in kids for most of these kids that are catching it. So that means that they're just running around everywhere spreading this and they're coming to a closed environment for seven to eight hours a day and they're doing this and we have to do something. And the thing to do is vaccinate and mask up.